My name is uh, Barry Kane. I uh, served in Northern Ireland uh, from August 97 until October 98. I was a uh, I was Royal Army Medical Corps uh, attached to the 1st Battalion uh, Queen's Lancashire Regiment. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously we were asking everybody the same question uh, about any personal recollections for yourself or uh, and also the the what you felt about the danger element at the time as well well d- danger f- was well one of them things I, I, I signed that blank check or oh, hope to include my life uh, it, it wasn't a case of being scared of death uh, that's what I'd signed up for mm-hmm. I could walk out of the house and be hit by a bus mm-hmm. so yeah. if if you spend all your time worrying about going out on patrols and being killed then yeah, yeah signed up for the wrong the, job. The, aye. Aye. Um, what was it like towards the, obviously that was towards the back end was it when was the Good Friday? Was it Good Friday? The, Tri- it Tri- was the, the 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 start of the the, the Good Friday agreement uh, in ninety seven and that's when they stopped I- issuing the JSMNI. But August ninety eight was when the the, the Oma bomb went off. Yeah. And the the aftermath of that was quite horrendous. Were you involved in that? In all? Uh, I wasn't d- d- directly involved in it, no. But the the, the aftermath of it, it was uh, like all of the uh, VIPs and that who were who, who were coming to Northern Ireland to to visit where the the bomb had went off, mm. and the. It, one of the memorable ones was uh, Bill Clinton, the, yes. the American president, because yeah. where, where we were on Liz and Ellie Barracks, we had the, the helipads at the, where we used to use the, the football and rugby fields at the bottom for the, the, the helicopter, like the, the chopper pads. And the, the DAA turned up, well, basically all leave was cancelled before he t- before he turned up, and everybody and anybody was on duty there yeah. the the day he came, and I can just remember seeing the the his choppers coming into the land, and the amount of secret service and uh, U.S. Marines and all, all the rest of them were out there. I was unreal, yeah. J- just for one man. Yeah, and uh, as we're gonna start asking everybody. Uh, what do you understand by the turn Tommy Atkins and and did you see the, obviously the camaraderie and the spirit of, of it living in Northern Ireland? The the the, okay, the 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 camaraderie when I first turned up the the data battalion, I uh, had curly hair on the top of my head, and spoke with with my accent, and one of the lads nicknamed us Sid the Sexist straight away. <laughs> Uh, and they used to always call us Tyneside, uh, Tyneside uh, Silver Tongue Cavalier. <laughs> and for that reason, even though it would, all, all of the lads were Lancashire, I used to always call them Yorkshire. And it used to annoy them more than me being called a Geordie. And then, so, uh, the, the Tommy Atkins thing? Uh, 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 Tommy, it's, it's, uh, 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 the, the, there's a couple uh, uh, reasons behind it from uh, I've heard the the Boer War and from from the First World War the the Germans nicknamed us t- Tommies of the Trenches cool. I am Tommy Atkins <laughs> <laughs> Good